Kevin Owens 以為佢係可以同 John Cena 比較，我唔諗到係會咁樣喎。I don't think so 啊。John Cena 知道邊個嚟啊？佢係 United States Champion 同埋十四次 World Heavyweight Champion。你估一個 Kevin Owens 可以喺 NXT 度嚟就打中阿 John Cena？ 我唔諗到啊！我唔諗到會係咁樣啊 ！John Cena is the United States Champion. He is a legend in the business. Kevin Owens is laughing, and there's a nobody that will ever be John Cena. Cena will bury them all. New talent, old talent, it doesn't matter. You bring him John Cena's way, he will bury them. And that's what happened to Kevin Owens here tonight at the Elimination Chamber, full show reviews and highlights. Look at this. Nobody. Look at this. Yes. Yes, John Cena. Yes. John Cena is victorious tonight. In defeating the NXT champion Kevin Owens, Elimination Chamber pay-per-view reviews and results. If you want to check out some of the other matches on the Peter Chow Games, the gaming channel, check it out right now and have fun. If you haven't already, subscribe, la! It's a very fun message. Subscribe, you got TikTok subscribe. Till the boom, give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, stop kicking the hater rate and stop drinking. The bubble tea. Chow outside, motherfucker. Right back to my way favorite, Shamus, Bob Zikamora, Rusev to my Aru Tupu, six men, right here at the Elimination Chamber Pink Review. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Look for you, so I know. Hey, 真係邊個會做 Intercontinental Champion 咧？我唔知道。但係而家 right back to my way favorite 咧 ，King Bad News， 而家就打緊啦。喂，你想打我？我即刻打翻你啊 ！Topic City 啊，而家。喂，你聽過 Super City？ 我而家就 Top City 啊，你啊，而家。喂，喺度做咩？喺度做咩先？打翻你轉頭啊！我 crush 你啊！我理得你係做 king 啊！我真係唔理啊！打翻你轉頭，打翻你轉頭，打翻。喂，做咩喺度？喂，喺度做咩先？打佢啦，都打佢啦！係啦，係啦 ，Suplex 啊！你想講 Trump Trump City 啊嘛 ？Suplex City 啦，而家。喂，多你想搞咩喺度 ？Right back， 而家最強喎，而家。嘿，我用我個張張咁跳落呢度，之後就 crush your face。明明白先。Right back， 而家啦，打 King Bad News 嚟啦！啊啊，做咩喺度？喂，一打我做咩啊？喂，係啦，真係啊 ！Cleaning house 你邊叫做 ？Cleaning house 你叫我做誒菲律賓妹，你想你講我唔理咧，你叫我做咩啊？喂嚇，你想去邊度啊 ？King Bad News， 即刻打翻你轉頭先。喂，喂，打打翻佢轉頭，你唔好喎，你真係唔好打翻我轉頭喎。係啦 ，King Bad News 嚟啦，嘿黑鬼嚟啊，阿盧叔黑鬼嚟啊，嚟啦！做咩喺度？喂，你喺度做咩啊？咁樣咁 flip 我？誒、哎，真係 King Bad News 而家打緊 right back 啦，打緊我啦，就唔得啦而家，我唔係好中意啦而家。哦，喺度冰數。Wait for it, taking it to right back。喺度冰數。Right back is going to shell shock you to kingdom come, motherfucker. I don't care if you are king. I don't care if you are queen. It'd be even better if you are queen, so I can show you where the kitchen is, mother bitch. Come here. Oh, all right, all right. You're gonna take my man. Wait, bet it. I'm gonna smash your head like a ping pong ball, motherfucker. That's right. They you are little king there. Oh, lad, 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 l
Hey, so man, right back, huh? You fragile mother shit. Huh? Ron, that's the only good part about your act. So man, no. They don't have to go. I don't want to go, so man. And now, dog stick him around. You're in trouble, bitch. I'm a shoulder block you. Knee you. Hey, excuse me. Hey, I'm not going to do anything. Don't you ever. I'm not going to do anything. Lay out of our hot mom, I'm not going to do anything. Wait, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. Ah, go stick him around. Your wife is supposed to be on my side. He's a clusterfuck of a match right now. Oh my goodness, people falling all over each other. Bullshit right now. Bruce Step, you Russian motherfucker, get over here. Huh? Or oh, apparently you're Bulgarian, I don't know. Hey, come here. Come on, Rock Steady, you want to fucking kill me, huh? Pin him. Pin him, yes. Jack, he's up there, 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 he's but actually, the way fair is in the game of the Continental Champion. Right back to me. Go see what you see, go. Through Seth, you may. Hey, that's so many people who can't kill the Intercontinental Champion. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I don't know if he's going to do it. I don't know if he's going to do it. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm going right back. I'm the big guy. Okay? Do you understand what that means? It means you should not be on top of me beating the shit out of my face. I am the Intercontinental Malento Champion. I will be at the end of this match. Oh, I'm going to get a lot of people. I'm going to get a lot of people. Don't sit in my room. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you're going to get a lot of people. Oh, you're going to get a lot of people. You're going to get a lot of people. Pin up, pin up. One, two, three. Don't sit in my room. Wait, wait, fair, if they are R2, don't die, 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 Ah, uh, you motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you in my shoulder. Oh, yeah. I'm so tired. Pin, pin! Oh, come on, Auto Turbo, you cannot kick out of that. Get the fuck out of my face! I am right back, I am the big guy! Oh, no, winds have changed! On to, on to right back! No! No! Kick out! Kick out right away! Winds have changed by King Barrett! And I don't think that I like that at all! You motherfucker! Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Stop! Oh, jeez! Yes, there we go! And look at this! Look at this R2 who trying to get up? I don't think so! Get you right now! I'm gonna get you! Come on, get him! Yes! Suplex City! Uh-oh. Booyah, Kasha! Come on, pin him! Pin! Bet it will not stay dark! Lay la hey son na lay no fun cow lay I am blown up as motherfuck right now. So blown up. Get back in the ring. Get back in the ring. Pin him, pin him. Oh yeah! Oh, the middle close light on Shaboos! Shaboos is down for the car! One! Two! Hey, come here, no stop. Ah, let it go, man. Mola. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Don't do that. Yes, good. You grab him, King, King Wind of Change. Ah, this is what you get, motherfucker. You pale shamus. Come here, rock steady. I'ma kick your ass. 
Uh, you think that you can just try to, I don't know, tease the audience, making them think that you're going to get me? I don't think so. Boom! Shell shock, bitch! Shell shock! Huh? I'd like to see you kick all of that. Yes! Ye! Stop! Two count? Ay, gun hair. Ay, you're a fool, you got. Try to see. How it, how it, hey. Yo, yo, sick. Oh, they don't laugh. They don't know what that. Wait, more from your own thing, that's a more from your own wall. Ah, could they come and bingo say? Learn what to kick out. Wait, let's put me don't die on that. I don't know, you're like some bass in water, don't you're a bar. Wait, so many things. 哇，咁樣就打完啦，快啲就打完啦，唉、哎，我 eliminate 咗啦，你知唔知我繼續 comment 嚟啦 ？Wait there, oh my god, see you later, right back, I'm so sorry, I disappointed you and all your fans, and now King Bennett now taking away, look at this, and now look at this, Tom Sigmund continuing his actions on Auto Tube, a nice blow kick of his own. And look at this, Auto Tubu trying to look good. Who will be the new Intercontinental Lento Champion? King Bennett, nice kick. A kick only a king to deliver in that one. A kick up by Shamus, but Auto Tubu, a nice drop kick. Nice! A Bella Buster, but Auto Tubu must be studying some Brie Bella takes. What? Another, another count! And my goodness, John Cone is going to get Cabo Tunnel after this one. So much counting. And Shamus! Oh, Shamus! Going for it! No! Another Bella Buster by Auto Trufu! Perhaps this time he was studying Nikki Bella Cakes! And look at that! Oh, my nice move by, by King Bennett! Can he keep the Russian down? No, a kick out! And I think Auto Trufu might have injured his shoulder, I don't know! Oh, nice move! Auto Tubu just got the fan favorite, Dolph Ziggler with a cone in position. Yeah, Dolph is eliminated and all the good people are getting eliminated faster than you can count to three. And a count on shape, nope, two. My goodness, Cone is the busiest person in this match. And the four left are King Bennett, Shamus, Rusev and Auto Tubu. The fan favorites are gone, ladies and gentlemen. Auto Tubu Ulafe. And what an interesting way to book this one. Ruse up. Oh, no. King Bennett taking advantage. And another Bella Buster. And Auto Tubu is obsessed with the Bellas. If we have not learned anything from this match, it's perhaps Auto Tubu is in love with one of the Bellas. With the Bella Busters. Look at this. Nice. Look at this. Rusev now. Oh, another headbutt! And my goodness! Oh, wait a second, King Bennett says no to Rusev and a winds of change! Winds of change by King Bennett! He's gonna make him his queen right now! No! Kicking out! Says no to Ray! Wait a second! The King of Gangbang, Aru Trufu! No! Another kick! Swift crescent kick! A poor version of what HPK used to do. Is that enough to put away? No. And Rusev and Arnold Trooper going right at it. The King of Game Bang. No. Rusev with a Samoan drop and he's going to go for the cover. As Bennett continues. No. Kick up by Auto Trooper. A backbreaker by King Bennett. And now the team up by Rusev and Bennett on Shamus. And oh my. And what a match here, ladies and gentlemen. We knew this was going to be a barn burner. And it is. It very much is. My goodness, what a match here. A front face lock, but Barry gets out. What a great match we are experiencing right now. And Auto Truffle and Shamus. Oh my. Nice move by King Barry. And that's a two count, a fast count there. And now John Cone checking on Rusev. My goodness, they cover now on Rocksteady. Two, no, not even a two. Bennett in trouble. A nice move by Rusev and actions back 
better than I can call it Rusev now. Focusing on Shamus. Not going to do it. Shampoo Shamus. Right now. Oh, wait a second. Oh, gee. Just a clubbing blow to the king of game bang, Aru Tufu's face. And here we go. That's it. That's it. The accolade on Aru Tufu. The only chance. Oh, and a tap out. And, and so Moose trying to get rid of Barrett. King Barrett in a horrible, horrible way right now. And what a match right now. Rusev left. Shamus left. But you have to wonder, is Alana's sexy ass body in the mind of Rusev? Is Rusev realizing that he is no longer going to get that spoon tank affecting his ability to work here? Rana's pussy is nice and wet, and, it's, and Rusev is no longer getting to penetrate. So Sycamore is getting to do that. And perhaps that is what he ruminated the talk, because he was thinking of the pool. You know? Oh my, and bear it now. Really taking advantage of the fact that Rusev must be thinking about Dorf. <laughs> Rusev thinking about Dorf. More like Rusev thinking about Rana. But hey, maybe he wants a three-way with both Dorf and Rana. Perhaps that is the only way Rusev can get to Rana is in a three-way with Dorf. Lots of situations at play here. We're talking about the story more than we're talking about the action in the ring. That's vintage Michael Cole. You know what I'm talking about? And wait a second here! Uh oh! Uh oh! Who's And it is getting dark! The sun is going down, baby girl! Here we go! I can't. No! Three count! I thought it was going to be! And King Barrett seemingly with a team formation with Shamus! Teaming on the Russian! This is very, very almost like hate crime! You got the pale Irishman, you got the Englishman beating the hell out of Rus. Oh, wind of change! Wind of change on Shamus! Two! And a kick out! Wow! And now, look at this, Rusev continuing to now beat the hell out of the Irishman! Rana still on the mind of Rusev! Oh, yeah, we can see it! He's in love! He is in love! Shamus with a big one! And now feeding the hell out of the man he just formulated a team with not too long ago. And now feeding the hell out of the Barrett. Barrett is down! Rusev is not down! Not anymore! Nice! Wow! What a haymaker! And now clubbing blows on both superstars! Cold! Out of position! And Rusev stomping away at Barrett now. Oh my, what happened there? Oh my, oh no, no, no! No! Look at this! Oh, and a kick out. Way to no sell the full hammer. And here comes Shamus. No, Shamus going for something. And what a match between these three men. A couple on Shamus. Count, Rest, count! No. And now, bad news! The king of bad news! St oh, look at this! Great headbutt there! Don't make a tower! And now, look at this! King Bennett, for a moment there, looked like he was about to get it! Getting drilled with his legs up high in the air! And look at this! Rusev, perhaps, using Rana as inspiration now! Tossing Shamus! No! Two count only. What a match here. This is what we call an elimination chamber match. This is why when each and every man ever has the opportunity to fight in the elimination chamber, you're removing years from your career because you are putting your life on the line, your career on the line for the chance to fight for the Intercolombia Valento Championship. And Rusev now showing more passion that we have ever seen out of it. A team of Shamus and Rusev now. And the crowd doesn't know how to react. He ate all three of these guys. Man, it's getting whipped on by Shamus. No! No! Could it be? Cradling on the deck! Yeah! King Bennett is down! John Cole! Two! And a kick out!
Wow! What a match! And wait a second. Oh, great move by Rusev tossing him in that German suplex. A German suplex by King Bennett! And Bennett now! Trying to put away the Russian Mola! The Bulgarian brute! Kicking out. And, oh my goodness, they punch right to the gut. And now Bennett! These three men want it so bad! Shamu's, oh my, a punch right to, right to the Russian penis! And, and look at this, it's Sakai! 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 And, oh wait a second, what is it doing? What happened here? And wait a second, what's Bennett doing? Oh, Rusev in the corner, in a comparable position. No, going after Shamu's. Rocksteady is down. Fever, one, two. No, Shamu's cannot be put away. He is a resilient motherfucker. Now look at this, fighting now. Rusev, Molly, his opponent in Shamu's. A right hand. And now Rana being used as inspiration. Rana wants, wants Rusev, we know. And another beating. My goodness, Rusev. Rusev now. What's he got planned? A huge body slam tossing him halfway across the ring. But wait a second, King Bennett. Nice twisting counter well slam. No. Rusev says no. My goodness. It has been Wade Bennett, Rusev, Shamus, Don Zigamara, Ryback, and Aru Tufu. Six men, thriving, doing everything they can to produce a championship run with the Intercontinental Championship. Right now, final three men, Bad News Bennett, the king of all kings. You got Rusev, the Russian Mala, the Bulgarian Brute. And you have the pale motherfucker who has just cast the Ninja Turtles 2, Rocksteady, himself, Shamus. With the change! A cover again by, by Bennett! Is he the ultimate king? No. My goodness, what is going to be able to put away Rusev? Nice move! Nice move! And a cover by Rusev! Would this be it for Rocksteady? No. Rocksteady kicks out at two. What a match here, ladies and gentlemen. I have never seen three men wanting the Intercontinental Lando title as much as these three men right here. Oh, nice move on Shovel. Oh, yeah. A kick. A kick. Wow. A huge Russian crescent kick. On the King of Kings, Bad News Bear, in our cover. No, kick out. The King of Bad News will not stay down. Look at this. These three men cannot agree who's going to be pinning Bear, but Bear will not stay down for anybody. And these three men, you can tell they are tired. You can tell they are tired. Oh, wait a second. That's the way he's gonna go. Rusev is eliminated just like that. And it's down to Rocksteady and the king of the ring, Van News Barrett. And look at this. These two men, who would have thought these two men would have finally got the chance to become the Intercontinental Champion? Nice move. Jump move. Down for the count. No. And Bennett now, fighting all he can do. He's mustering up the courage, the bravery. Who wants it more? Is it Bennett? Oh, there it is! Pull him out of nowhere! Pull him out of nowhere! Two! Yeah! All hail the king! All hail King Bennett! Look at this. Big guy, I was eliminated early on. Look at this. But I did beat Dolph Ziggler. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. Shit. A nice move here by Bennett here. Eliminating Ziggler. Was that it? One, 
to now. Zinkamara showing his resilient journey on, even hitting a zigzag on King Vanek. But nothing was coming out of that one. And the camera sticking too long on this replay. Was it a kick out? Yes, it was because we knew he won the match. And look at this, just like that, the bull hammer taking out. Taking out Shavos. Rock steady down for the three. And it's Barrett with the victory. He is the Intercontinental Champion. Thank you very much for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. And book. Give this video a thumbs up. Until next time. Ciao, well, sorry, motherfucker. And it's triple threat D verse action, which means you're probably getting up and going to get a sandwich right now, but that doesn't stop this match from happening. The Divas Championship is on the line, and since you guys online have been clamoring for the Divas to essentially get a chance, here they are in a triple threat match. Brie Bella has been banned from ringside, as Daniel Bryan just didn't do her any favors in terms of including her in this match, really pissing off the Miz. The Miz went to the authority, and thus... Brie Bella eliminated from the opportunity of accompanying her sister Nikki right here at the Elimination Chamber Divas full match review and highlights right here tonight. Who's going to win the Divas Championship match? Nikki Bella, Naomi, or Paige? Let's find out very, very shortly. And you got three bitches going for the Divas Championship right here. You got a brat lady, you got a big old titty Nikki Bella, and you got the emo whining mother bitch. No, there's Paige. Look at this. Nice stomping right there. That's going to burst a little bit of that. And wait a second. No, my. Naomi now taking it. And look at this. Oh, jeez. What a great match so far. And Naomi cleaning house. And look at that. Nice move there. And now Paige trying to get a little bit of that. Oh my goodness. Shades of Rick Frere. You cannot steal Charette's gimmick from NXT. And look at this. Oh my. Furious. Where's Paige going? All the way to the outside. Oh my goodness. You're going you to burst the fake titties. Calm down. Now I knee right to Nikki Bella's face. And Naomi now just sitting back. Oh, now, now she's not sitting back. She's falling back from that huge drop kick from Naomi. And Naomi going for the ride. Not looking so good. Prospects have her winning the Divas Championship. Doesn't look to be that way. And Nikki Bella going all the way to the other side. And Paige going to play on that. The emo bitch. Oh, wait a second. Oh, nice move there by Nikki Bella. And will Bella be distracted by the fact that her sister is nowhere to be seen at ringside? Naomi, vagina in the face. No, wait a second. Now, oh, my, kick out. A kick out by the very talented Nikki Bella. And now the shoulder bothering. Bothering Paige, not for long. Naomi, showing all the charisma in the world that it takes to be the Divas Champion. Of course, her returning to Toto Divas definitely gives her an edge here. But Nikki Bella's also returning. Is Paige? I don't know. Nobody watches that show. And by nobody, I mean everybody, because everybody in the world is stupid. Here we go. Oh, my. Power on by Paige. And look, what is this? A unique maneuver by Paige. Very sensual. And my goodness, this is a wild woman that we're looking at. Crawling sexual all over the party and then doing the headbutt. My goodness. Queen of headbutts here, taking it to Laomi. And now Paige doing very well here. Wrestling since the age of 14. 
He definitely has an edge in, in experience. And another clothesline by Naomi. And now it seems as if it's time to, to take on the ghost. Known as Pink. Hip toss there. Nice move. And look at that. The stomping continues. Are you back from getting a sandwich? Are you back from going to the bathroom? Well, the match is still going on because you guys asked for it. So don't be complaining. Nice bulldog. Shades of uh, John Shayna there. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. That could have broken Naomi's ankle there if they weren't careful. And look at this. You want to pick on my breast, says Nikki Vera? I'm going to elbow yours. Or lack thereof any right there as... Wait a second. Another suplex by the champ. She's the diva's champ. And again, look at the elbows. The point of the elbow going right into Lipo there. And that's going to cause some proper. Oh, my. Straight up right hands. And John Cone not paying attention. Daydreaming about more important matches that he needs to officiate tonight. And that's a nice tag team move there. A drop kick to the back of the head and Paige took over. Nice move using the hair. Not sure if that's legal, but nobody cares. Naomi now. Taking care of... Oh my goodness. You want to talk about tough. Naomi's a tough little bitch. For sure. She's not getting raped on Law and Order Special Victims Unit. And wait a second. Oh, oh my. Beautiful setup there by Paige. And now look at this. This is the story of imitating poorly Rey Mysterio's moveset. A kick out there by Naomi. Oh my! Nice, nice counter move by Naomi getting slung shot. And look at this! Great move here. But Paige is going to say low, 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 low. And now pounding Nikki Vera's head like a basketball. As Naomi going for a hug. And what's this? What's this? What is Naomi thinking here? Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, nice move. Oh, yeah. Beautiful move there by Naomi. And a reversal on Nikki Vera. And what's this? A nice move there. By Naomi. And this could be the problem right here. Oh, nice reversal there. What is Nikki thinking? What is Paige thinking? Trading locks here. And Naomi doing the smart thing. And hanging back. Naomi. Hanging back. Oh, and a kick out there. By Nikki Vera. Uh oh, what's going on? Nikki Vera now. Oh, what's this? What's this? Nikki Vera in trouble. And what's this? This is, this is a great move there by Paige. And, and again, breaking up by, by Naomi. And if Naomi wasn't here, we, we probably would have a new chance. And what's this? Charging again, and, and now Nikki Vera. Nikki Vera looking very terrible here at Paige and Naomi taking turns. Chopping those fake breaths again. My goodness gracious me. And Nikki Vera continuing to get his ass kicked here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, to the ropes. To the ropes. And Naomi could be should be ready. Where's this match going? Get away from me. Definitely a lot of messy situations here. A little sloppy here and there. The page. Nice move. Page. Nice move there. Naomi whipped to the corner. And what's going on here? What is Naomi thinking? 
Naomi clearly aiming to do something. And Paige cuts her off. And a suplex by Paige. Perhaps attempting to turn the page. And look at this again. That unique maneuver. No, wait a second. That's more of a Texas Cloverly. And again, Paige really desperate to win the championship. But Nikki's going to save her title. Oh, what's this move? Oh, there it is. Paige Turner. And Naomi is down for the count. Oh, wait a second, and Nikki Bella, oh, and a kick out by Naomi, wouldn't even stay down for the count, not even one, and Paige, oh my goodness, Paige is taking it to Nikki Bella, and again a kick out, oh, nice move, right in the ass, the ass right into the face of Paige, and we could be, oh my, another one, Another one, two. Oh my goodness, that big booty eating the faces of both Paige and Nikki. And we got ourselves a new Divas champion. What a match there. They tried their best. And after a soft exchange here and there, Naomi was able to look at this, the Paige Turner. And we thought this was it. If Naomi didn't get continually involved, we would have seen Paige as a new champ. Nikki Bella was booked very poorly here to look like the weakest champion we have seen in quite some time. Naomi kept on having to break it up. And we saw right there as Naomi's big old brat ass ate the face of Nikki Bella there, engulfing it. Huge butt bump to the face. And Nikki Bella is no longer the Divas Champion. The title was on the line. And Naomi gets the victory here tonight at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view live only on the WWE Network. I thank you very much for joining me for my Elimination Chamber 2015 simulation reviews and highlights. Until next time, ciao, sai, motherfucker. And there is no better way to kick off an elimination chamber pay per view than with a tag team contest. Thank you very much for joining me. This is Peter Charles Games, the guy, the Titan. Yes, 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 yes. You know what I'm talking about? It's Elimination Chamber time. It is Titus O'Neil and Ascension. I don't even know what the fuck his name is. They're fighting. But what you need to know racially is there are two black people, two white people, and two Mexicans in this match. Who will be the supreme race to take it all home? Who is going to go home for the WWE Tech Team Championship? Now, of course, this game did not allow me to put two men in a pod, each pod with two men, low, 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 low. It only allowed one per person. Uh, sorry, one per pod. Uh, I am Cesaro, so we'll see. Uh, I was, uh, I guess, chosen at random. Who is going to be emanating out of the pond right now? Could it be? No. It is Diego of the Los Matadores. And he's coming in. Look at this, all hot and bothered. Look at this. Titus now showing that he is the man. The man who sold the most drugs on the street of Brooklyn. Titus O'Neill. The brackets of all black men being taken to town right now by Connor of the Ascension. And look at this now. Connor having his way, really showing that he is badass. Will he take off the tag team titles for his team? And a double team here by Diego and Titus O'Neill. And, and Mexicans have always rough black people, and Mexicans have always adored the type of culture that they represent, and that's that urban culture. That's why I think that Titus and, and, uh, and, uh, and Diego had a lot of common there, teaming up on the white man, Connor, from the Ascension. Oh, wait a second, what's this? The Ascension going to the outside, wait a second, no! 
Oh, yeah, look at that Cesaro now. You want to fight me? It's so bad, you know, huh? But check out the Ashley Dossily. And look at that. A great move by Titus. You motherfuckingly hot boy, like that. Like that? And I kick out. You're not gonna put away Cesaro like that. You motherfucker. Here we go, Titus. Elbow to the back. And wait a second, what's this? Nope. Reverse up. And now Titus having his way with Cesaro as Diego has a good time. Oh yeah, you want to fuck with me? I don't think so. My name is Cesaro. I represent Kid and Cesaro, the former tag team champions. And now Sin Cara of the Lucha Dragons now in the ring. And Titus now figuring it out that he is completely blown up. Perhaps he needs to work on his cardio. But you think for a man going door to door selling drugs as a young child, you think that he will have very good cardio. But perhaps it has been too long since those days. Cesaro now getting elbowed by the Mexican. Oh look, there's a nice trick to cut him off. That's perfect. And a beautiful one. Ram your Mexican shoulder right into the corner. Your people probably made this ring. Here we go. And oh my. And letting him go. That's a bad idea. And Cesaro gaining the advantage on the Mexican Matadores. And look at this. A beautiful move. And now letting him go. A cover. Shoulder in the face. One, two, no. Matadora is able to stay in this thing for for how long? And the New Day's Kofi Kingston now in the ring. And so, so oh my! Ah, she got the ass in there, you know, huh? They don't look out yet, Cesaro. Two. Oh, and Matadora is Diego able to kick out. And what a beautiful move! Look at this. He got a Matadores down. The Max Man does kick out. But for how long? Oh, yeah, look at this. Cesaro having his way. And another uppercut. Wait a second. And it's Cesaro going down. And now the two Mexicans, do you think they'd be on the same side? For the Lucha Dragons, Sin Cara and Los Matadores is Diego. And a pinch over here on New Day's Kofi by Cesaro. No, not going to put him away. John Cole keeping busy right now. And now Cesaro going to get to work. Oh, nice move there by Diego taking down one half of Kid and Cesaro. Cesaro. And now Diego. As Titus continues to fight away on the Ascension's honor. And look at this. What a match we have seen so far right here. One of the most dangerous matches in WWE history. Will this pay-per-view be enough for people to subscribe to the network? I guess we'll find out sooner rather than later. A DDT on Titus. But it's Cesaro taking advantage of the fact that Mexicans have poor, poor endurance and pitting the Los Matadores is Diego. And what a great match we have seen so far. And look at this. And Connor being eliminated. Cesaro, one of four men left in, in the fray here. Who's going to go home with the tag team championship? And Jason stays up now. Oh, Statham going for a knee in the corner. And what we got to say, we the final four made up of a black man, a white man, and two Mexicans. Time to have a fiesta. Cesaro, Luther Jenkins, Wow, Sin Cara, you know, I know. Yo, yo, go kill you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, and a paint dropper and Los Matadores is Diego is now out of the picture. And a kick up by Cesaro. You're not going to put away the Swiss Superman like that. A nice DDT. 
And I, wait, wait a second. Susano, oh, wait a second. The, the injury prone uh, uh, Sin Cara. Oh, my goodness. What a close one there. And what's this? What is Susano planning? There it is. Beautiful move. And now the Lucha Dragons is Sin Cara being eliminated. And it's New Day. Oh my, what a huge right hand. Oh my goodness gracious me. And another uppercut. And oh, Kofi going for a ride. Flipped inside out like an accordion. And the two men that we knew had the most chance of winning this match are the final two participants in the Elimination Chamber match for the Tag Team Championship. Look at this, a full match here from beginning to end, review and highlights included. Oh, nice drop kick by the Brack Man, Kofi. Oh, wait a second, Brack people are always good at crapping. And he's crapping right now. And a new move. And a new day. And we always knew that that new day was going to retain. And yes. Kofi Kingston represents New Day the only way that it should be represented, showing off the power of positivity. But Cesaro did the best he could, and I'm sure when he goes to the back, Tyson Kidd will be like, hey, what's hot? Titus O'Neil trying to put away Cesaro there in the replay, and look at this, stepping on that Mexican like crazy. And you see Titus, oh, wait a second, just ignoring what Titus did to him there. And I try to try to get the attention of Cesaro. And look at this. Perhaps Titus was just a big fan of the Transporter 3. We don't know, right? Or maybe a fan of his work in uh, Beauty Sapphire. We don't know that either. But it was a great match. Cesaro had no chance of kicking out of that big old brat kick sent to his face by Kofi Kingston of the New Day. At the end of the day, it's a new day because the new day has retained the WWE Tag Team Championship. Thank you very much for joining me for my elimination chamber simulation of the Tag Team full match that you're going to see live this Sunday live on the WWE Network. And until next time, subscribe to Peter Child Games and right beside that book. Give the video a thumbs up and until next time, ciao outside, motherfucker. An impromptu pay-per-view means an impromptu match with no build-up or reason behind it. Dean Ambrose gets a shot at Seth Rollins' WWE World Heavyweight Championship right here at Elimination Chamber. Who's going to win, Ambrose? Or is it going to be Rollins? Check it out. It's Peter Child Games. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so right now. And the WWE World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Right here, and look at this. Rollins going right for it. And perhaps he's going for a kill. And now, just striking away, teeing off on the tight jean pants. Dean Ambrose, right here, sending to the corner. And a really great move by the champion there, John Cone. Not in perfect position. Ready to count for three. However, he does not. Ambrose now, that half balding receding hairline motherfucker who is lucky enough to date Renee Young, taking down Ambrose right here for the count. Nice move. Able to take on Seth Rollins. Will Rollins get the advantage here? Yes, he does. Oh, yeah. A taste of your own dick medicine by Rollins. But, oh, my. Look at the technique here. Possessed by both men. Oh, I thought Ambrose was going for Dirty Deeds. And the prediction that I had was wrong. Nice move again. And these two men are going right at it, Ambrose. Down. Rollins going up top. 
And what is going to happen here? Early on to go to such a vertical high leap. Oh my! And a bad move there by Rollins. A little bit of miscommunication on both parts. And Ambrose now. Uh oh. Wait a second. This unpredictable man has as good as a shot as any to capture the goal. But will he? No. Not in an unannounced pay per view such as this. And Rollins again needs to prove to the world that not only can he defeat two men in a triple threat match, three men in a fatal four way, he has to prove that he can be a man one on one without any sort of intimate appearance. And that's exactly what he is doing here. Beautiful drop kick by Rollins, seemingly wanting to put away his challenger. I don't blame him, you know. And now Rollins. Rollins measuring right there, right in the face. And again, another cover. John Cohn completely out of position. If there's one thing that they need to improve in this game, it's not anything else but to put the referee into the goddamn right position. How hard is that? Shouldn't be hard at all. Oh, the neck of Ambrose. Hung like a noose right there. Right on the rope. That should be illegal. A cover. And Ambrose not looking so hard here. Oh my. And look at. Oh, wait a second. What's this? Oh my. And Ambrose going for a ride. Perhaps the last one. A nice move by the check. One, two. And a kick out by Ambrose, but barely. And it looks like it's all Ambrose so far. Getting his ass beat right here at the Elimination Pay-Per-View Live on the WWE Network. And look at this again. It's that unpredictability. You don't know what the man's going to do. And look at this again. It's Ambrose. Ambrose measuring the trap. Yeah, he got him there. But again, every time we think that it's Ambrose getting the the, 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 the the advantage, it becomes the advantage of Rollins. These two men are former Shield mates, and we thought that at last month's payback pay-per-view, it was an indication, perhaps a tease, of Rollins, Ambrose, and Reigns getting back together, working on the same page as they once did for two and a half years as the Shield. But quickly, it was Reigns and Ambrose teaming and, and making it a handicap situation for the champ Rollins. What a great match here so far already. Oh my goodness, right under the back of Ambrose. And Rollins now seems to be about two steps ahead of Rollins. Ambrose now. Oh, Ambrose coming right back. How long is, he, is it going to last? Not long enough, as it's Rollins planting down the challenger once again. Can he solidify himself as one of the greatest WWE World Heavyweight Champions of all time? Oh, no, not again. Ambrose really just not looking good. Another one. Another shot right into the corner. And it seems as if Ambrose is not in control, not even in the slightest. Look at this. Look at the shots here. And now, uh, look at this. Rollins going for the cover. Two and a kick out. And Rollins is really feeling just good right now, I think. Oh, what's this? Oh, a beautiful move. A diamond cut of sorts. Shades of Mark Mero. Two. And a kick out. The challenger is a resilient. No doubt about it. But it's Rollins who is showing the world why he is champ. Oh, he's going for the kick out. Oh, my. And again, it's Rollins. Oh, my. And again, look at this. Oh, beautiful kick all the way to the outside floor. All the way to the outside floor. And what is, where is Rollins going? And Rollins now, what could he be doing? You're ending, you, you have the advantage, Rollins. What are you doing out on the apron floor? And it's 
Ambrose getting back to a vertical mid. Oh, boy! What a beautiful move there by Rollins. Flipping over the top rope. Springboard dive. And Ambrose now feeling the effects. My goodness. What a great match so far at this impromptu pay-per-view. Sucks for all the people in the other live event whose event was canceled because of this. And the monitor goes flying. What's this? Ah. Oh, got through so my goodness. Ambrose. Oh, beautiful. Right onto the rib cage. Right onto the rib cage. Ambrose. Oh, where, where is where is Seth going now? Oh my! Look at this! Rollins is absolutely taking it to the challenge. Really proving his dominance over Ambrose, who is unpredictable, unorthodox, but it has nothing to do with the fact that Ambrose is just not as skilled, apparently, as Rollins, the champ. Of course, I might have spoken a little too soon as Ambrose really starts to bury the elbows. And look at this, back and forth we go. One of the greatest matches I've seen. And a nice move. Nice move. Beautiful move. Look at this. Flipping all the way to the other side. John Cone in position. And a rope break. It looks as if Ambrose still has room to breathe. The table, don't forget, has been set up outside. What is going to happen? Another drop kick. And Ambrose doing a not too good of a job, increasing his opportunity of becoming the champ. Another kick here, showing that Muay Thai skill that Rollins has possessed over the years since practicing jujitsu. Oh my. Look at this. You see that little flatter, the flatter thing. Look at this Ambrose now. Ambrose starting to feel it. And another shot right to it. And I can't believe it. Oh, a nice move by Ambrose. Ambrose is desperate. He wants to see if he has what it takes to become the most unpredictable, unorthodox WWE World Heavyweight Champion. This is a very interesting situation now. And could it be? Ambrose is the, he cannot win this by counter. I don't know if this is a risk. And right into the corner again. And for the third time in a row, it's Rollins going to town. Ambrose, yes. And could it be? And again, it's back to the arms. Rollins wants to dominate Ambrose, and I don't, I absolutely do not understand why he's not going for the cover. And what's this move? What's this move? Oh, my gosh. Right on to the neck, that's high impact. Oh, wait a second, Ambrose just letting him up. Oh, yeah. Look at the martial arts ability here. Oh, and a kick. Oh, right over the top rope goes his former shield cohort. And Ambrose, oh, my goodness, right into the face area. And it's Rollins and, oh my goodness, right, barreling right into the stairs. Obviously, if the fight feels to the outside floor, which it has, Rollins has the advantage. Because in a double count now, Rollins retains. And at a count of nine, Rollins decides, oh my, Rollins decides, I don't know if it's respect, I don't know what it is, but Rollins has allowed Ambrose the opportunity. No, wait a second. Maybe that was a mistake. And that receding hairline motherfucker, who probably likes marshmallows, is definitely taking it to Rollins. These two men are killing themselves. 
right into the stairs again. We're up to seven already. Oh, nice move. Nice move there. And right back to one. These two men are killing themselves here. Ambrose, Rolex, taking it to each other. An elimination chamber. Another shot right to the... Oh, my. Look at this. Another one. And look at this, Rollins back into the ring. He wants to at least win the match. What's this? Oh, Rollins. And again, it's Rollins. Right back to it. And oh my, Rollins is absolutely dominating. I'm afraid to say it, but Ambrose is completely outclassed right here at the Elimination Pay-Per-View. I spoke too soon. Ambrose going for the high vertical and now planting his former shield cohort right down into the middle of the match. This is a very interesting situation. Uh-oh, wait a second, what's this? A great move here. Oh, wrenching away at the champ's face. This could be it right here. This could be it. Rollers, feeling the pressure. He must hang in there. Oh, we got a new champ. We have a new champion here if this happens. Rollins, can he hang on? Can he hang on? Oh, my. My goodness, that was an absolute interesting situation. And a kick out by Rollins. Barely, though. And what a match we got here. Uh-oh. What's going on, Ambrose? Ambrose, oh, blocked by Rollins. What a great move! Oh my! Oh my! Wait a sec! Oh, 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 oh! What's going on? Ambrose! Oh, going up for the ride! Oh my goodness! What a match here, ladies and gentlemen! What a match! Oh, wait a second! Where is he going? Oh, he's straight into the middle of the ring, and Ambrose! Oh, goodness, lights up. Lights up for Ambrose. Wait a second, Rollins is not pinning him. Rollins is not pinning him. What is he doing? He's dragging him right to the middle of the ring again. And oh, don't tell me not again. The second time. Oh, my goodness, and a cover. And mercifully, this is over. The champion retains. Thank you very much for joining me. Peter Charles Games is the name of the game. It's the name of the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that. And of course, to boom, give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, stop drinking the hater raid and start drinking the bubble tea. Ciao, suck, motherfucker. <laughs>